everybody. Welcome back to the Lemon Branch DIY. Today we're going to put together a propane heater and uh, we're going to open the box, see what uh, all the parts are and kind of how to put it together and, and we'll see how it operates. So this is the Hampton Bay Outdoor Pyramid Gas Heater. And uh, so we're going to tear into this box and just see how difficult it is to put together and and uh, hopefully it's not too bad, but we'll first uh, see what tools are required and and get this thing put together. Okay, so here's uh, the assembly instruction, instructions. It looks like there's going to be a little bit uh, to put together, uh, starting with the base and the wheels. Uh, but this uh, kind of shows you uh, how this is packaged. So, yep, there's my utility knife, just in case we need to open some things up. But... Uh, Let's uh, go ahead and pull everything out of the box and then we'll just see what parts we have and we'll get started. So we got everything out of the, the box and just kind of laid it out. So these are all the different pieces. That big long one, uh, that is probably the gas tube or the glass tube that the gas goes inside where the flame actually comes up. So you kind of see some of the different components here, what's in the box and uh, and we got it all laid out. It does include a wrench and then inside that bag is a screwdriver. It's kind of hard to see there, but it does have some screwdriver, uh, screwdriver, some other tools. Uh, so you don't need to have any other tools. It comes with everything, but this is kind of what it looks like once we get it all unboxed. Okay, once I get those all in, I flipped it upside down so I can get to these nuts and then you just take the wrench that's provided and we're just gonna tighten them. All four of them up. I think it's easier um, if you flip it upside down so then you can see kind of what we're doing here. We're just gonna screw this bracket on to the bottom like that. Once we get that screwed on like that, you'll notice that there is a peg coming out from the base. That coincides with that hole right there. So we just need to line those up. Let's see if I can kind of show a picture of how that peg goes right into that hole. So now we got that in, we're gonna just take a screw and put it into this top hole here to secure all of it like like that get it nice and tight and like i said we'll do that for all four of these guys so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this here which is the actual gas uh you know your igniter uh, where the gas actually goes up into the glass tube. First thing that we need to do though is to unscrew this guy and we're gonna put a battery in it which it comes with this battery it's just double-a battery we're just gonna slide that in and then we'll put the cap back on so that uh, gives it the juice to actually ignite and then we're gonna actually put this guy, we're gonna attach it down here. So get that back on. We'll give it a test. So you can hear that and what that's gonna do is, I don't know if you can see that good for a second, there it is. That's the igniter for the gas. Okay, when we're putting this on, they're gonna fit in just like that. Uh, but just like down below, there's a little peg right there, and that fits into the top opening right there. So once we get that in, just like that, you can push it down into place, and then we're going to take some screws, and we'll screw that nice and tight. Um, the screws go down, I don't know, I'll show you right there, goes down underneath that peg right there. One thing to keep in mind is when you're putting this, this uh, level on, you gotta make sure that the knobs and the turn on is on the opposite side of the wheels. So the wheels are at the back, this is gonna be at the front. So make sure when you go to put it on that you have that accordingly. So 
We got all those four screws down tight. Now we'll move to the next step. Now we're gonna put this bracket in. This is uh, the strap to hold the propane tank. So that's just gonna go on the back side, just like that, and then we'll, we'll screw it into place. Okay, the next step is we're gonna do these upper brackets like that and you just slide them onto the pegs like that and then there's two screws that tighten them tight we'll do that for all four of them so now we're ready to start putting this top section on that uh, the, the glass tube is going to fit underneath that and then the top will get screwed to this but it has to go all the way up there so we're going to need a step stool but we're going to put that up there and if we think of this being the top, each one of these corners will screw into a side of the bracket. So we'll go ahead and install that. We'll move to the next. All right, the next step is all the way at the very top, we're gonna put these screws in and then put a washer on top of each of these, just like that. So how we do that is we just take that guy and these ones don't have a wrench or anything that fits it so we're just going to hand tighten these guys and then we'll put all of those on now we'll put the top cap on so how we attach this top reflector is you just line up those little screws that we put in and then we're going to throw a, a washer on top and then we're just tightening up with these wing nuts pretty simple Now we're ready to install the glass tube. So there's the glass. I put it on the grass because I don't want to break it, obviously. But there's a black silicone ring and that goes on the bottom. So we just kind of place that on the glass. There's a little groove that you just kind of slide it into the groove just like that. And then you have the black ring on the bottom. Then we'll slide it in from the top first and then into the bottom. Okay, when inserting the top, you'll see that there's these metal flanges. So I just kind of bent those out a little bit and slid the glass tube up through the center. And then at the bottom, we've got that silicone seal right there. And then that just goes over the middle of the, the hole like that. Okay, now glass is in place now. We're gonna put these guards on here. This is gonna hold the outside guard that, that goes on the face of this, but we have to install these brackets first. I'm not gonna tighten it up. I'm just gonna put those brackets in. There's one on each side. I'm gonna leave it loose so we can put the, the guard in place. Okay, now we got the bracket on, we're gonna install these side uh, guards. So on the back of these side guards, there's these little hooks. There's three of them all the way down each side. There's one in the top, middle, and the bottom. Those go into these three slots there. So with that guard on the top, it makes it a little bit trick, more tricky. So just slide that to the side, and then each of these will go on, if I can get it to focus. And you can see how those just will slide right into those like that okay now with those all nice and tight inside those slots then we can rotate that top bracket get it on top of that top rung and then screw it tight we'll do that on each side so now all that's left is we're gonna put these bottom panels on to hide the propane tank so there's one for each side we're just gonna take those and you can see there's holes that match up three on each side we're just going to screw those into place now the front panel is a little bit different they have a little knob and it comes with a screw you just install the knob what's cool about this one is this one has a magnet to it right there and then there's two little grooves down at the bottom you just slide those in and then stick that on and that's how you can access the propane tank so we'll get the other three sides on and we're almost finished so one of the last things to install when you're doing your knob, just to attach the chain like this. So when you go to turn on the tank, you can just, the door won't have to come all the way off. You can just leave it like that. It just clips through that hole and then you can just shut it. 
So there it is. It is all put together now. And uh, the only thing we have left to do is hook up the propane and, and then test it and make sure it works. Okay, the propane tank is on. And all you do is just hook it up just like that, get the strap on it, and then we'll turn the tank on. And now let's see if we can ignite it. Okay, now we're gonna light this thing. The first thing to do, once you get the tank all hooked up, you've got this all nice and tight. We'll open up the valve here. And then what we have to do is we have to purge, actually this tube right here is full of air. We need that full of gas. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna take the knob and from the off position, we're gonna push it in and hold it on that pilot uh, where it says pilot. Leave it there for two minutes. Once you've done that, there should be some gas going up through the line. Then we'll hit the igniter and see if it lights. So then once we do that, if it is lit, then we can move it all the way to the on position. You can start hearing it now. And then you can control how much uh, heat you want by turning that knob. But that's... Uh, all put together, we've got exactly the flame that we're looking for. That's all the way up, I believe. No, that is all the way up. So we can really get it hot um, and just kind of play around with it until you, you get it to the heat that you're looking for. But other than that, that is how you put it together, all together. It took me about an hour. I had a few interruptions here and there. Uh, but uh, it really wasn't the most difficult uh, but we'll uh, go ahead and use it now we'll see how good it does and, and if it if it keeps us warm outside and all that good stuff and really appreciate you watching if you like this make sure you hit a like uh, and uh, subscribe that lets us know that what we're doing is good and kind of a pat on the back so thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time